much for speaking to us. Uh, uh, you're from uh, Syscoin. Uh, can you tell us what Syscoin is all about? So Syscoin is a decentralized cryptocurrency that uh, it was forked off of Bitcoin. So it's essentially the, the Bitcoin proto core protocol, but with a few value added services. And so what you want to do there is, is kind of create the core business constructs to build business apps on the blockchain. Um, you know, with Ethereum, you have an open co core concept where anyone can create these smart, smart contracts, but they're necessarily not trustworthy in that they may be susceptible to attacks, as we saw with the, the DAO, uh, $150 million got lost because some hacker found a way in. Mm -hmm. Now with this, we kind of make sure that we, we, we lock down all of the security variables and we test it well before releasing. So that's why we, know we coined the term hardened smart contract. And um, we created the set of smart contracts to be interoperable with each other. And so they work together to create <clears throat> business value added uh, apps on the blockchain. Um, and so that's kind of an in introduction as uh, what Syscoin is. Uh, so do you really think that the future is all about cryptocurrencies and uh, the future is tokenized? Yeah. Yeah, I think it truly is. Uh, we're entering a, a, a digitization, I would say, of the world. Uh, Venezuela ha has a specific issue with um, hyperinflation. And, and the problem there is um, there, there's inflation expectations that hit the economy when it doesn't perform well. Uh, and that's a, that's a, a problem with central-backed based currencies. Cryptocurrencies are kind of different in that the, the supply is, is hard capped and uh, mm -hmm. you can't inflate. It's, it's a known supply curve and that doesn't change over time. And so people's expectations um, necessarily don't, uh, aren't reflective of, of a surprise in, in kind of how Venezuela is. You know, the U.S. might have inflation expectations uh, down the road when the bonds start to uh, expire and they have to purchase them. We may have an uptick on inflation there. Um, but in terms of cryptocurrency, there's, it's, it's more in terms of um, deflationary ex expectations. The price is expected to rise because demand increases and there's only so much supply. I think we're at a point where We've proven with Bitcoin that it's a stable store of value in that. Sure. Yeah, and I think it's a better form of economy that gets created as a result. Brilliant. Jack, thank you very much. Thanks for having me.